I was like, spirit, spirit, do you know who I'm reading for right now? Do you, do you know what is happening? I was like, spirit, what? Because look at the two cards that came out, Scorpio. This is your weekly tarot card reading for Scorpio. You know you get a new one from me every single week. So please like, share, and subscribe, baby. And ring that bell so you know when I upload. You know when I upload. 6, uh, 6 a.m. before 6 a.m. every Tuesday. But check this out. Okay. I was like, what are you trying? Spirit. Because this is innocence. This is sexual innocence. Sexual innocence. Purity. Virginity. Desire. Can I tell you that this coming up for you is like 100% the stamp of this is a brand new life. It's brand new. It's like you're born again. Born again. Never been touched. Pure. Pure. But better. Why? Because when you're born again in this way, you're not not the person you used to be. You're transcended beyond the person you used to be, which means that you know all that you know. You haven't let that go. You haven't forgotten. However, you have started over, which means that you are so much better and so much more powerful now, Scorpio, than you have ever been before. This is innocence, a uh, childlike innocence, a sweetness, uh, an evolution of your desires. Maybe your desires not being as uh, dirty as they used to be. But instead, there's just this sense of, I don't really care about, excuse me, stuff that, I, you, stuff that I used to think I had to care about. Or like stuff that used to push the bill or be avant-garde or be extreme. It's like, I'm like, nah. That was for demonstration. That was for display. And I'm not on display anymore. I'm nobody's display. This could actually also just imply that you are completely new. That you just get a fresh start. You just start over again. Now, I don't know where it's going to apply. It could apply to your sense of sensuality. Because this is such a regenerative time. And I think if I had to choose any... I don't, I, nothing's really happened. Well, the moon is in Scorpio right now. But if I had to choose what a full moon lunar eclipse, super moon lunar eclipse, because that's the energy we're in right now. It's The moon is in Sagittarius. I know it's not Scorpio. But let me say, if I had to choose with Saturn and Pluto in retrograde, if I had to choose a, a sign that represented it, it would be Scorpio. Because Scorpio is all about death finishing out and being reborn from the ash that's what i'm saying you're not leaving the past behind you're being born from the past right because what does the phoenix rise out of the ashes of its old life it's what fertilizes it it what creates and you get to take that wisdom into that new place this is a new this is a new phase in your life that you're entering a new stage um it could also be purification loan forgiveness or um get out of jail or or um, a totally different kind of relationship that you that you would have ever had before. But Scorpio, this is just reinventing the self to express the self more accurately. Okay, let's get in. I can't wait, Scorpio. Oh, hello. What is this? Money. What did I say? Find a way to abundance. This is you have a fresh start. You have a brand new opportunity. And you have a new way of looking at the world and understanding and seeing the world. There is new opportunities in terms of money and abundance coming to you. It doesn't mean that the lottery is going to like land in your lap. I, it doesn't mean that, but it does mean that you will be able to see very clearly the way forward to creating your own abundance. Because that's what this means. It means you have the energy again to create your own abundance, to, to captivate people, to generate abundance, to build a network, nurture your relationships, your friendships. It's finding abundance through money, th through friendships, through networking. It's, to me, it's almost like I'm thinking of the two of wands. It's, 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 it's like that energy of you 
using your network. Maybe a friend is hooking you up with a really good deal, a really good option, a really good opportunity. Um, it's it, it's going to explode on you. It's going to be some good shit. Ah. <laughs> Scorpio, I love you. If you'd like to continue this entertainment, please do head on over to... Um, Vimeo, you know, there's always an extended, something's been bugging you, underlying from the past, something, some issue has been bugging you, could be financial issues, a lot of cards fell out for you in this dream state, in this dream deck, roots, okay, what about roots though, baby, uh, money, M money keeps coming up for you, uh, something had been bugging you, having to do with your roots, having to do with something that was deeply rooted, money that was deeply rooted, so it could be money that's owed to you, exposing yourself or coming clean about some sort of um, money that was owed to you. Maybe you were holding back, playing the martyr, because you can do it, you can do it, uh, taking the hit, suffering some more pain, but for what? You know, for long-term consequences, it's like, it's almost like something is coming clean. Now, could have been owed to you, could have been coming to you from the past, letting it out. No, you've been holding something back, Scorpio, that you shouldn't have been holding back because you, in, in doing so, maybe you don't realize it, but you were protecting a motherfucker who was actually doing you harm. You were protecting somebody who was not good and letting them get away with, this is whistleblowing, whistleblowing and that balance things, balances things back out right getting back to your natural self your true self if you've been feeling yourself separate from yourself Scorpios it's because you have been suppressing part of you that should never have been suppressed right you just you should never have suppressed that part but you were because you're trying to convince yourself oh but I did the right thing oh but I did the right thing no you need to come clean let it out say the truth it, it was them it was fucking them it was fucking them like point the finger where the finger belongs. You know what I'm saying? And then we have keys. All of a sudden opportunities open up. Your voice opens up again. Keys to your life open up again. Why? You've been, you generate such power. You're generating this for yourself. You're generating this suppression of this abundance in your life because you decided to not ask for it or you decided to let somebody screw you out of it. In opening up and calling somebody out, Scorpio, what you're doing, you're not whistleblowing, you're not being a wimp, you're generating energy in the right direction for yourself. You got to do it though. Flying um, almost seems impossible, this impossible feat. Maybe you've been dreaming about it, like there's lots of contradictions in your life, you don't, you feel like out of yourself, like, a, a, like an out of body experience wealth you about to be uplifted but only if you have the strength to trust in the unknown and the things that you don't feel comfortable in we're gonna go deeper let's go scorpio if you like this video like i said like and share this video please um what else did i want to say i'll figure it out i'll let you guys know i promise oh astrology motivation is up it's a good one if you need pep talks this is the video to, to like hold go on replay it's just such good stuff the new astrology motivation please go subscribe over to astrology motivation too that's my new channel what is okay stop check it out i am bonded I am bonded. So this is once again, togetherness connection, but it's coming out in the past. There's something that's bugging you from a past connection. It could have been bugging you ever since childhood, or you could, this could be something that's actually bugging your children because this is like children, children, innocence, you know, uh, somebody who's just starting out fresh, something that's, it's bugging you, uh, bugging you, having concerned about kids, maybe finances, having to expose yourself, expose your finances. But this is about liberation and finally announcing or, or shouting or being heard. Um, over here we have, I feel alone. But to feel alone isn't always loneliness, but there is a sense of isolation. There is a sense of, um, um, yeah, there is a sense of isolation in, in, in this energy right now. I, I can't not feel that. Um, maybe you feel like you're on your own, like nobody's coming to help you. Hold on, hold on. More for Scorpio, please. Uh, 
what does this mean? I feel alone, especially. Hold on. Okay, we have light. You see the light. All of a sudden you realize what you have to do. You also have to bring something to light coming out, calling shit out. Your shadow side, your shadow side is the hardest to see because a lot of times um, we, we, we think that the shadow side is, oh, you know, I, I like to wear stilettos or, um, I, you know, I spend too much money or, you know, that's not what it is. <clears throat> our shadow side are those aspects of ourselves that we think are not lovable and we think we have to keep secret. So this is you embracing those aspects and qualities of yourself and honoring them and partnership. And I, oh, This is partnership with yourself. You're aligning with your shadow side. You're aligning with those aspects that you thought were too bothersome, too loathsome, too uh, shitty. They would bug people. They bothered you about you. So you pretended they didn't exist. Those things that have been getting to you about you. Confronting those aspects of you by honoring them and then also taking control of them. So those different aspects of yourself that you know have gotten out of hand. It's meeting your shadow and they're, thereby forming a whole much more strong strong, unified, um, uni like unity, unity in yourself. I feel alone because you've abandoned yourself. I think that's what it is. It's almost like, and you're realizing it. It's not like, this is a great mystery to you. Realizing how you've let yourself down and not being afraid to face how you've let yourself down, but instead being like, okay, I get it. I let myself down here. I'm not going to let myself down again in the same way and how do I ensure that I'm not gonna let myself down again? And I'm not saying that you did anything even bad. It's just that, like I said, sometimes, I'm sorry, sometimes we do things and we try to pretend it's for good reasons and they look like good reasons. And this is what, what uh, Saturn in retrograde really teaches us. We, we dress up our good reasons as, uh, you know, our, no, we dress up our um, betraying ourselves as, but for good reasons. I'm giving this up for somebody else. I'm doing this for the purpose of, but, but is it, is it really for that purpose or is it for fear? Because there is an aspect to you that you disappointed, that you sacrificed, that you didn't have to sacrifice. It was the easy kill. And that's coming back. And I like that it's coming back because you deserve, because with it and with confronting it, and here's the trick of this week, with confronting that demon also comes the, the, the um, opportunity back for the benefits you were supposed to get if you had, you know, faced it down to begin with, you know? So it's not just this trial or punish you. No, 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 no. Super full moon. I'm t it's all going down for you right now. A hundred percent, it's coming back. And you need to take this opportunity. You need to take the opportunity when it comes. Instead of doing the same thing, like, no, I'm just going to hang up and I'm not going to talk to them. Talk to them. Um, nope, I'm, I'm just not. I'm just going to shut my mouth and, and keep it closed. Don't keep your mouth closed. You must do this. It's, it's, it feels counterintuitive. But Scorpio, you do deserve this abundance. And you have got to, got, this isn't about sticking to your guns. This is about sticking to your heart. This is about being true to and honoring yourself instead of finding a way to justify dishonoring yourself by making it look like a grand act of sacrifice. That's some shit, man. Oh, I love that you're watching this because it's just such a, um, kind of like revelation it's exactly what you need to know grab on hold on to it and even lean on friends it could very well be your friends will help you through help you see <laughs> um it, it's there's some sort of opportunity opening through friendship through friendship speak with love because this isn't about hate and it's not about anger it's actually about forgiveness and love speak with love this could be okay a romantic time period a uh, new romance coming. Mm. Uh, let go and flow. Okay. Um, 
Okay. Uh, see the light. Oh, okay. And then seek an expert. It's okay to need help. Sure. And then blow off some steam. See how natural all this is? It's just flowing. You're not overthinking anything. Stay away from overthinking with this energy. Create. My God. There's so much abundance coming from you, through you, but you have to let it. You have to let it come through you. And Scorpio, that's what this is all about. It's like, it's like trust yourself to don't undermine yourself don't overthink think things anything that you have to think twice about please don't it this week the secret to this energy is faith it is faith and it's been that way i know but it's it's just about it's about faith it's about friendship and it's not i said this in my daily i post my daily to astrology motivation um every day now check it out um or join me born underscore without underscore boundaries live we go live we talk every freaking day monday through friday i said it there today i said this is not the time to push so if you have to second guess yourself to talk yourself into something don't do it that's when you know you're getting into that loop that's self-defeating don't do it do not overthink or question yourself in this energy and don't push it will be the obvious answer. Oh, getting into the deets. Because there's nuances of love. Um, more bugs. Who's bugging you? Um, finding balance. Tr finding balance. Trusting and also having friends or being a friend to help somebody else find balance. There's balance coming back. And jo enjoy. Joy. Like, let yourself feel joy. Up and up joy. Not seedy joy, but like up and up joy. Uh, and then we have being prepared for a fight. Oh. Oh. You denied yourself a fight that you're going to have a chance to re-enter the ring do it. You know, at first you were probably like, I don't want my kids to see me like this. I don't want them to, you want your kids to see you fight. You want your kids to see you stick up for yourself. You, you have a second chance, do it. And you have more knowledge this time around. Um, um, but that's, if it's, in other words, if it's presented to you, don't go looking for fights, but don't back down from confrontations just to avoid the fight. You have to just go through, go into the natural direction. Don't second guess it. Uh, 16. Nice. You're going to get lifted and supported and you're going to be, you're going to be supported. This is also joy. This is having a really good time. Um, I think having a real good time, being a little, being a little crazy, being a little wild, not pushing things. Even this card, it's about confrontation, but it's not about confronting things. It's just, I'm sorry. It's not about pushing things. It's simply about not backing down when the confrontation comes to you and the amount of joy that comes from that. It's going to be a relief, right? You want a little bit of relief, right? Such relief right now. What is more, more, what is this? What, where is the relief coming from? Soulmate. I am blessed. I need to, I need to know more about this energy. I'm getting a little bit of a headache. I apologize. I need to know a little bit about what is, who is a soulmate? How are they blessed? Loyal heart. Okay. Two owls. Owls are also very much your energy. Well, it's wisdom. Sometimes it's Aquarius energy, but it's also like wisdom from the dead, you know, like, like, um, 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 lifetimes past teaching you something soulmate energy. I said, what is this soulmate? And I am blessed. You said loyal hearts. You have loyal hearts. You have loyal people in your life. It's coming from your tribe, which could be your friends, even your lover extended network. Just, just support getting support. And Oh, and there's owl here too. Owl is one of your totems. Even if we don't get it in the, in the, uh, in the animal totem reading. 
Owl is one of your totems. So what does owl represent? Owl represents suddenly something becoming very clear. Also seeing in the dark, seeing the truth, seeing through the darkness, um, seeing an opportunity that maybe you couldn't have seen before. All of a sudden it's, it's, it's clear for you. Wisdom, grace, um, loyal heart. You got somebody who's really on your side, opening an opportunity for you. Some sort of soulmate that's just presenting you with, with an opportunity that you really need right now. Let's finish up these cards. We'll get into your animal totems. Um, okay. Nope. Fluorite. Natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. Don't push. Don't try too hard. Just let yourself be you out, out loud. And then we have make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. Okay. All of this is slowly starting to come together. Let's get in your animal into your animal totems. I'm looking at another deck thinking, should I pull a card? Uh, for Scorpio, please. This is animal totems for Scorpio, please. Please. Trust in the great mystery. It's time to jump. It's just time to, like, I know this is not normally you. Dr jump. Jumping in. I know it feels maybe like you're over your head. The water will catch you. You slow and steady wins the race traveling in the deep traveling in the ocean going with the flow emotional security serenity this is very scorpionic energy like think uh king of cups um just just dumping jumping in you're jumping into something that you have been ha struggling with for a while emotionally there will be a huge relief the miracles are endless blessings think about the cowbell more cowbell, more abundance for you. And it's, in other words, this is, it's starting in the psychic world. It's starting just taking an emotional leap of faith. And then bam, there's abundance coming into the 3D world. And then act as if, um, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what the fuck that means right now. Act as if it's already here. So you're starting right now, right here. Act as if it's already, like you already have got it because it's true. In other words, it's already yours. It's already yours. All right, let's move on. Magic works through you. This is that trend, that, that bridge energy between the past and the, the, the future. This is Cancerian energy, power, magic. It's like you're part of the manifestation. You and your decisions, Scorpio. Um, uh, truth transcends illusion. There's something that has been, oh, what did I tell you? You've been holding on. You've been pretending like something isn't wrong. You've been, you've been suppressing the truth. Okay. Scorpio, it's not you selling out if you're telling the truth, if you're just saying the truth, if you just tell the truth. Suppressing the truth is bad. That's why Owl kept coming out. It's like, it's like be loyal to your heart. Know that the people who really care will always care. Be honest. That truth has got to come out because it's almost like there's been a stunting of your growth because there's been a stunting of this message, this, this information coming. Um, you've had the information. This is the great mystery, wearing a mask, pretending, hiding, holding back, right? You are never alone. There's so much... Like, it's almost like somebody who loves you or somebody, somebody that, that really desires you has been holding back it, it, or you've been holding back something. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth about how they feel about the other person. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I don't really care what sign you're dealing with. There's just this sense of holding back. You gotta stop holding back. It's time to stop holding back. And the reading is suggesting that it is on you to stop holding back. We're going to get into tarot. I'm going to get to the nitty gritty. Stick around for your angel messages though. Okay, hold on. Let's get into them. Lots of them. Ooh, this is like the hardest thing for a Scorpio to do because you feel so vulnerable. 
and you hate feeling vulnerable, but then it's like the secret to your success. Hold on. Think global. You are being encouraged to spread your wings. Think outside the square. You are a citizen of the world. Expand your vision. Imagine the world within your heart. Embrace it. Surround it with love. Let it be. And so it will be. Oh my God. The world is just so ripe for you to just pick anxiety. We surround you with the healing light of amethyst. Take a deep breath and breathe in this beautiful violet light. Feel your anxiety melting away. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. Okay? Destiny. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform to an ever greater light. Let's get into the nitty gritty. I have two more of these cards. I'm going to read them to you in the extended. I cannot wait. Let's finish this message. I'll see you guys over there.